The governor of North Carolina was in a gubernatorial debate with his opponent, and the question of House Bill 2 came up. Now, that was the controversial bill indicating that LGBT individuals can be discriminated against and certain municipalities within the state of North Carolina cannot pass laws protecting the LGBT community. The part of that bill that got the most attention, of course, was transgender individuals not being allowed to use the bathrooms that they identify with. Now, apparently, Governor McCrory decided, eh, I'm going to double down on that during this debate. Take a look. I will say this, where she should go, in the private sector in North Carolina, she can go wherever the private sector wants her to because we don't want to be in the private business of the private sector. If she's going to a shower facility at UNC Chapel Hill after running around the track, she's going to use the men's shower. So he was specifically talking about Caitlyn Jenner, uh, who is a huge transgender uh, public figure. And um, I just find it really interesting that this debate is still happening, especially considering the fact that this entire debate was about women possibly getting raped in bathrooms by transgender men, right? Uh, or transgender women, I should say. Like, people are going to pretend to be women just so they can go into the bathroom and rape our women. Because, you know, Republicans are very much concerned about rape, which is why Governor McCrory is very much against Donald Trump and how he endorses sexual assault and rape. Oh, wait, no, he's not. In fact, during the same debate, he said Donald Trump is a good role model. Take a look. Any part of him make him a role model? Uh, I think what makes him a role model is uh, where he does stand strong on certain issues that need to be said, especially from outside Washington, D.C. Hmm. You guys don't care about women getting raped. You don't care about women at all. You use women as props for political gain, and that's it. That's all you want. So in the case of Caitlyn Jenner, it's not like you think she might be doing it to trick people and is actually going to assault someone in a bathroom. It's... Like, if you're worried about the frat boy dressing up as a girl to get into the girl's locker room, well, that's not the Caitlyn Jenner situation, and you already know that, right? It's not about that. It's about discrimination. That's all it is. Yeah. They don't, like, and, uh, as I've said a million times, if Caitlyn Jenner walks into the men's bathroom, they'd flip out over that. They'd be like, what is this wrong person doing on the bathroom? Right? Okay, so, and then you say, okay, now go to the girl's bathroom. Oh, what is she doing in that bathroom? Right? So which one is it? So just get over it, man. Just let people live their lives. Look, Republicans who believe this stuff, you can argue anything you want. You can say, oh, my religion should rule over you. I agree with the Grand Ayatollah, and I believe in the mullahs of Saudi Arabia, that religion is awesome. We just disagree on which religion should rule, but either way, but we totally agree that uh, rational, reasonable laws shouldn't apply. Uh, my religion should be forced upon you. Okay, that's a fine thing to think. I obviously disagree with you. But don't go around pretending that you believe in freedom. Don't then claim that you're a Republican and say, oh, freedom is free. All right? Uh, you know, I'm all for freedom. You know, that's why we had to go kill people. It was a freedom. No, you're not in favor of freedom. You want to take your freedom away. Mm -hmm. you, you don't go around saying, oh, I can't believe Colin Kaepernick sits for the flag. Flag stands for equality. No, no, but you don't want equality. You don't want them to have the same rights as we do. Why? Because uh, my, my uh, mullah, I mean, my lord, people, whatever, says that uh, the, the, those people are, oh, I should hate them, and they're different than me, and they're going they to have different rights, right? Okay, fine, but you're not for freedom, you're not for equality, you're just for you, in your mind, being better than other people, yeah. and you getting to have more rights. So just be honest about it and say, I don't really like freedom and equality. I would love it if we were like Saudi Arabia, except instead of Islam, it was Christianity. Just admit it. Just admit it. You're in favor of a theocracy. You're not in favor of America. So you should actually take a seat, and not because you're against police brutality or anything like that, or you're against injustice. You should take a seat when, the, uh, when, when we're playing the uh, Star Spangled Banner or the national anthem, because you don't believe in America. Just Look, say it. I, I think with Islam, you know, it's a much more visible, visible way of demonstrating how the religion treats women as second-class citizens. But just because Christians in America don't cover women up from head to toe doesn't mean that we have full equality here. When you are actively endorsing a candidate that supports sexual assault and has been accused of raping multiple women, well, I mean, that kind of shows that you feel 
that women are second class citizens. And that's just as damaging to women as covering them up from head to toe, as, as basically banning them from driving cars. You're, you're excusing violent behavior toward women. I mean, it's crazy to me that they sit there and they act as if they care about women so much when they actively want to punish women who get abortions, when they actively support uh, you know, situations where men get away with raping women. It's just, it's amazing to me. You're not good people. You don't care about morality. You're not moral at all. So let alone treating LGBT uh, community as second class citizens. Mm -hmm. So you don't get to have freedom. You don't get to have liberty uh, because why? Nah, the Constitution says we should all be equal American citizens, but my religion says you shouldn't. You know what? I, I, th this is how I believe, okay? I'm from the old school. And the old school is also part of the Young Turks Network. Get the whole network by becoming a member today. TYTnetwork.com slash join.